What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hippo Supercoach and today we have the round six review. Not been a terrible week in the end, so 2.205, it's top 4% score, so I can't complain, but there's still plenty to complain about, so I will complain. Um, season ranking of 3.4k, I'm pretty happy with that to be honest. Um, yeah, round rank of 7,400, let's have a look at the team of the week just before we get into anything. We have classic, leagues, no rankings, around 6 points, let's have a look at this fucking team. Hmm, it's not as bad as what I thought. Had Gordon still. Overall rank 1.4k. Yeah, okay, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Anyway, um, let's get into my team now. So I've, I've pretty much spoken about everyone, but I'll go over again. So we'll start with Nick Dacos. Man, this kid is the GOAT. Like seriously, probably the best in the competition. You'd have to argue, you could, like, how could you not say he's the best? Like. To have two clutch goals like that come coming in the fourth quarter, like when they needed him the most, it's just like this kid is an absolute animal. And yeah, I mean, if you don't have him, you gotta get him in. It's you just have to get him in. Look at his projected man, one sixty six. What on earth? Um, yeah. So Nick Dacos, pff, just a beast. Captain option every single week. Tom Stewart, one eleven, really safe pick. Lockie Ash, fucking kill yourself. Uh, Connor McKenna, I'm joking, don't kill yourself, but you fucking suck at Supercoach, not going to lie. 86 break even, so you must go, and I've been wanting to get rid of him for so long, but I've just had other shit come up. Um, so yeah, Ash is gone this week, spoiler alert. Connor McKenna, 57, yeah, whatever. Break even 62, probably have to hold, unfortunately. Liam Jones, 53, break even of 28, mm, he's probably going to have to be a hold. Lockie Cowan, pathetic, don't know why I uh, don't know why I even decided to field you. Thought you could go more than Wilmot's 39, but turns out you can't even do that. So, fuck you. Constable didn't play, of course. Fuck you, Stuart, you, you fat ass lied dog. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. No, you're not actually that fat. You're just dumb. Like, surely Constable, I know he's, you know, he's pretty bad by foot, but come on, it's Gold Coast. Like, you can't get a game at Gold Coast. Like, how? He couldn't do it at Geelong when he was going off in the res. He's like, bro, what is this kid's luck? There's got to be something going on behind the scenes. Like, he must be the biggest fucking dickhead off the field or something. You know, he might be going clubbing every night and, I don't know, he's doing some shit that's not sitting well with the coaches because this guy can't get a game when he's getting, like, 40 touches in the resies. <laughs> anyway. Who knows what's going on with him. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll come on and give us his fucking bubble week. His bubble score. Uh, Bont. King Bont. What an absolute animal. Break even at 50. If you don't, haven't got him, jump on right now. Um, someone said Connor Nash might go to him. Possibly, but I don't know. I think, yeah, I think it's Bont's just one of those guys you just want to have him because the ceiling's too big and that midfield only role, it's just too good of a ceiling to pass up on. Lockie Neal. Well, you can absolutely get fucked, you stupid dickhead. How the fuck are you going 76 against Gold Coast, bro? Like, you didn't even, you barely, did you even get, was it, no, not Gold Coast. Who did he play? Did he play Gold Coast? Played fucking North Melbourne, didn't he? Who did he play? Oh, he played GWS. Um, yeah, what the fuck, man? How do you not go bigger than that? I know Perryman did like a kind of tag on him, but fuck you, seriously. Anyway, LDU, you are a joke. You're so lucky that I have got bigger problems. Otherwise, your ass would be gone. He's going to be under 500k. Fucking pathetic. Trap. Biggest trap ever. I, my gut instinct says that he is battling an injury. and probably still got that calf injury. Not that any fucking coach would come out and tell us that. But he looked dog shit. Seriously, I'm done with him. He's, an, he's on the never again list. And it's only his, like, what, fourth year? He's never coming into my team again. I can mark my words. Fucking joke of a human he is. Cogs. So happy I traded him in. 136. Gordon. Fuck off. Um, people say, yeah, he got all those frees against, but he had a lot of frees for too, so it kind of counteracted it. He just sucks. Biggest trap. Again, if I had unlimited trades, fucking half this team would be gone this week. Seriously. I'm not even joking. Marshall would be gone too. The fuck with. 
Uh, Setterfield 76. You're lucky you're not going either. 88 break even. <sighs> He's going down. Hopper 94. Good. Break even 35. Still plenty of money for him to make. And I like having him on field. I think Hopper will be in my team almost to the end. Ashcroft 76. <sighs> Meh. Baker 59. Fuck ya. And then, yeah, the rest of the team is pretty shit in the midfield. Uh, Tim English, he's an animal. Get him in if you don't have him. He's going to be... How much is he going to be? Is he going to get to 700 next week? Probably not quite. Maybe. Royal Marshall, 88. Why did we think this guy was a lock? We're all delusional as fuck. You know, I reckon what happens is about 20% think he's an absolute lock and then everyone else just gets sucked in. Like, why? Why did we think he was a lock? Like... I know the numbers were there, you know, 126 without being with a soul, as a sole ruck or whatever, and then 80 with a joy ruck, but man, I don't know. Sky, the, the, if you watch him actually play ruck, it's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, he's not even trying to hit out to advantage. He's just trying to punch the ball and slap it long. Like, bro, fucking just tap it down to your midfielders. It's not rocket science. Anyway, it's a shame that we have him. It's a real shame. But we can't, there's just so many more problems in this team that we cannot afford to get rid of him. Um, just before we get into this last bit, I'm going to do a quick check up on my other account and see where it's ranked. Very creative name, 3,331, there you go. Not too bad. Uh, what was my one? 3331. Fuck, it's pretty close. Anyway, um, Dunkley 104, yeah, solid, whatever. Toronto 144, unreal. Really good game from him. Thought about captaining him, to be honest. I really did. I was like, fuck, he could go big. But I didn't. Uh, Rosie 126, Zebul, good. She's all got the tag and I think was a bit underdone. And the channel 85. So the forward line actually performed pretty well. Just everywhere else it didn't. So in terms of trading, let's get into some options. So something I'm still trying to decide on is whether I want to get some budget players or I want to get the Ubers um, and the Ubers for cheap. So I think we can get Oliver for around 600. Um, if we look at his price right now, he's sitting about 660 or 670. Break even of 171. He does play north, so he could go huge. But then again, Toot didn't go too well against them. Um, oh, fucking hell, if you guys what he did last time, he will. Um, but yeah, Oliver's one, obviously, you probably wait on. And then the one I'm thinking of is Laird. Because I just think he's so safe and another captaincy option. So Ash has to go. It's it's a matter of who has to go, I think, at this point. And then the upgrade. I don't know if I want to trust a Will Day when I've already got players in my team that I don't think I can trust, like Goulden, um, LDU, fucking Setterfield, fucking Neil. <laughs> who would have thought that would be a thing? Not trusting Lockie Neil. Sometimes this game questions me. Well, I question this game, I should say. So, Ash for Seamus Mitchell is a no-brainer. And then, if we're going off break even, who has to go? Like, Wilmot probably doesn't have to go quite yet. Cowan's fucking trash. And then, like, McKenna might be the one. Has it got to be someone like... Golden? Like... It's a tricky one, you know, because like Setterfield maybe even. What happens if we go to Setterfield? We swing one more down. And we're obviously going to use a boost. And then we trade out. Maybe Liam. No, Liam Jones got a low break even. What's his. <clears throat> McKenna probably has to go. Gives us one mil, all right. So, if we're getting Seamus Mitchell, who can we afford? Well, if we get him Will Day, probably does make sense because then we can get him in a kind of Uber. We could go Day for Day and. Maybe Luke Ryan. Maybe Sinclair. 
Dane Sinclair? I don't know. Sicily's going to be cheap. <coughs> Sinclair and Sicily, to me, have a bit of trap written over them just because their roles have changed. Like, it's not just like they're down on form. Their roles have changed a bit, so I don't know if we can trust them. Luke Ryan, I don't know if his role's changed, but whatever he's doing, it's fucking working. Like, the guy's pumping out big scores every week, and he's a little stat pad back there. Um, what if we went Sheasel up? Who, who are the forwards we could bring in, maybe? Oh, God. <laughs> no good options there. Mm, and then we swung something like that. Let's just swing Seamus Mitchell to the forward line. For now. Don't even know why we want to do that, but... Why did I do that? <laughs> Completely pointless. But yeah, this is what live trading looks like. I'm sure you guys all know that. Uh, do we want Seamus Mitchell on the forward line or the back line? Anyway, let's just get a mid for 570. Who are the good mids for 570? Parish maybe, Steel, no. Danger Goat. <laughs> Pendles looked unreal today. It's it's tough. It's it's a really tough one. Um I think at this point it's probably best to go someone like your um Well actually let's look at it from this way, right? Let's try and get Chandler and Fergus Green on the field. So if we do the Ash out, we need a forward to trade in. But if we swing Gould in there, no, but that doesn't help it. That doesn't help it at all. Because I want to start fielding Fergus Green. Like he's scoring well. Ash out. Hmm. I don't know, man. This is this is tricky. Seamus Mitchell might be just as good as fucking dickhead. I really don't know. Like, maybe Fergus Green just has to stay off the field for now. So let's go someone like... All right, let's just get in Seamus Mitchell. And we'll get rid of Connor McKenna because he's shit. And we'll go with Will Day. I truly believe he can he can go close to that top eight sort of range. And we probably have to bring in that Wagner fuckwit. And Wagner, like who does he Wagner for who? That's the thing. How much has Cowan made? 87k, it's probably about as much as he's going to make. Trash can. Jones probably can't trade yet. Wilmot, I don't really want to trade yet. So an ideal team would look something like that, which isn't ideal. <laughs> it's quite possibly the furthest thing from ideal. Um, imaginable. But even the tip rat, right? Like, he's popping off. Like, even he could probably be a field option. What's... Sorry, not the tip rat. Radically, I don't know why I call him the tip rat sometimes. <laughs> uh yeah break even 13 <laughs> so yeah he's, he's still got a bit of money to make young goats at 300k so he, him for tackle next week looks pretty juicy and then like k chandler's break even is going to be reset now that's sturdy or whatever i don't know i, I think at this point you got to work out who you want to get off your field and like Oscar Baker, is his money making done? Possibly. Ashcroft still scoring enough. Yeah, I think maybe just the two trades this week could work. And then Wagner. Wagner, I guess, has to be considered. He does. Like, we do have to consider him. But we also have to consider Seamus Mitchell. The thing is, who does Wagner come in for? Because if we're going off break even, it's probably going to be like Cowan, but it feels like it's kind of a shitty trade for, you know, 
Who's people trading out of my team? Probably is Cowan. <laughs> yeah, it is. Setterfield, yeah. Setterfield, I'll probably hold one more week, I guess. Bartel. Bartel's such a dead rookie. Alright. At this point, there's been that much fucking time wasted in this video. It's probably going to look some like this, but you know how I am during the week. I will mix and match and whatnot. But my trades will probably look something like that. Bring in Will Day. I'm going to try and go for value for the rest of the year. I think. I think it's a safer option. Seamus Mitchell and Fergus Green. So yeah, I really do want to get Fergus Green on the... On the field. But I don't know how to. I think we just have to take a punt on Jones and Wilmot, unfortunately. But the cash gen is kind of there. Like I've kind of got decent cash gen. Next week we could do something like Setterfield to Laird. And like we can like really start upgrading. But yeah, um going to my cash cash league, we need a spare a thought for this guy right here. I talked about him in my last video. And, um, yeah, he's losing motivation to play the game. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe leave a comment for him, let him know. He's online right now, so he can't be losing too much motivation. But this is his team. He's sitting around 55K. He's usually up there for the rankings. Um, yeah, maybe leave him some nice words or something in the comments because he'll, he'll need it and he'll love it. So, yeah, unfortunately for him, brought in Tuke Miller and captained him. Could be the nail in the coffin of his super coach career, but yeah. Anyway, um, in terms of captain, vice captain options early this week, let's have a look through them. St. Kilda Port, I mean, no one really there. Brisbane against Freo, I guess Neil, but he's a fucking fraud at the same time. How's Neil gone against Freo in the last few? I feel like they might have tagged him. Mm, 87, 171, 79. Okay. Probably not for me. Uh, Sydney, Jenner West. Nah. Bulldogs, Hawthorne. You'd probably go Bont or English. I'm probably going to go English. But I could see why people would go Bont after his recent form. And then Collingwood against Adelaide. I'm probably going to go Nick Dacos again. He's an animal. But if you have Carlton, if you have Cripps, maybe Car uh, Cripps against West Coast go pretty pretty good, I reckon. Anyway, that's it for the video. Pretty shit video. Um, leave, let me know some comments. I'm going to try and make a video dedicated to just the comments um, over the next few days. So, yeah, stack up the comments, any questions you guys have, um, and I'll answer them on a video. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.